All right, I wanna tell you about how to use our microscope so we can complete our Daphnia experiment today. First of all, I'd like to point out that our microscopes are electric. The electricity is required to turn on the lamp. To turn on the lamp, there's a little button in here. You push that button down and the lamp should go on. Let, me, let us know if it's not working. Other features that you need to know about this microscope is the stage. This is this called the stage, and the stage is where you put your microscope slides. Move the stage clips back, place your slide on the stage, and then you can use these clips to help hold that microscope slide in place. You can use your fingers to adjust your specimen to make sure that it is directly over the opening where the light is passing through. To view your specimen, you're gonna use the eyepiece. The eyepiece allows you to look through the one hole with one eye. Sometimes students like to put their hand over their eye so that it's just a little bit more comfortable when viewing the specimen. When you look through the eyepiece, you'll see a black line. If you turn the eyepiece, you will see how that black line moves around. That's actually a pointer, and sometimes students find it useful to be able to point to different things inside their specimen. Let me tell you about our objective lenses. The objective lenses allow you to magnify your sample and use greater magnification. For today's experiment, we are gonna be using the lowest power objective. As you can see here, it's the shortest and it's also the one that doesn't have any lines on it. To make sure that you are adjusted on that objective, this nose piece turns and you wanna make sure that it's clicked into place. I don't know if you can hear that, I'll try again. Click, and you wanna make sure that it is in place so that you can actually see your specimen. Other features that you should know about this microscope <laughs> is this adjustment here in the front. This is called the diaphragm. And the diaphragm can open and close and allow more or less light through your specimen. So while you are viewing, you can actually adjust the amount of light and then decide what allows you to see your specimen the best and give it the most contrast. All right, finally, got one other adjustment here that's really important and this is your, um, the, what you're gonna use to focus. So you'll see, watch what happens when I move the gray knob. I'm gonna turn the gray knob and you see how the objectives go up and down and by moving the objectives up and down, you can actually focus your specimen while you are viewing. Okay, this is called the coarse focus. Once you get your specimen as close to focus as possible, then move to the silver knob. And if watch what happens when I turn the silver knob, that's because this is moving the objective so slowly that it's kind of making your focus perfect. This is called the fine focus. Use your coarse focus first and then go ahead and tweak your focus as necessary using the fine focus. When you're done with today's experiment, you want to make sure that you are turning off the light source and then adjust those stage clips to remove your slide. And that's what we're going to be doing today.